This is a problem from section 6-2, a problem similar to your homework. It says, assuming normal distribution with a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1, find the z-value. And the z-value is this z-value down here, where they give us the area on the left-hand side. We are going to use our calculator instead of the table. And in our calculator, the command that we're going to be looking for is called inverse norm. And the inverse norm command looks for three things. One, the first one, it looks for the area to the left of your distribution. So the area that we're looking for is 0.8869. And then the other two arguments are the mean and standard deviation of your normal distribution. In this case, it's 0 and 1. If you don't include the mean and standard deviation, it's going to automatically assume 0 and 1, which in most cases we're going to be using. But there's going to be some cases in this chapter where the mean will be different from 0 and the standard deviation will be different from 1. And I just kind of want us to get used to using this inverse norm command with a mean and standard deviation. So we go to our calculators and we say second and distributions and the inverse norm for me at least it's a third one down so I'll select that and I'll click enter or I can just hit three and then I put in the values 0.8869 comma zero comma one close parentheses enter and then here is our value so we get a value of 1.21. Rounding this off to two decimal places would be sufficient. And if we look at the z compared to where the middle might be, the middle is going to be 0, and it's on the right side, so we do get a positive number for our result. This is it. This is how we find our z values. Hope that helps.